melting ice creams, fire trucks, sprinklers, squirrels licking ice blocks. Clearly, this is one seriously hot heat wave. It's the hottest place on earth. Like, this is hot. It's never, never been hotter. Been hotter. <laughs> I think the best way to describe it is that moment when you open the oven and that gust of heat hits, hits you in the you face. In the face. It's going to be about 110, 110 degrees, degrees here, here where we are today. 110 degrees? Oh, wait, no, that's Fahrenheit. Still, even in Celsius, that's a spicy 42. And that's not even as hot as it's got. Over the past month or so, some towns and cities in the US and Canada have been hitting record-breaking temperatures in the high 40s. Death Valley in California got to a sizzling 54 degrees and it recorded the hottest, hottest 24, 24 hours, hours on, on the, the planet. planet. So what's going on? Well, weather experts say it's all to do with something called a heat dome. It all started when the temperature on the surface of the ocean warmed up. Hot air rises into the atmosphere, but a high-pressure system pushed the air downwards and the competing forces meant the heat had nowhere to go. Instead, it got trapped, forming a dome shape where the heat just circulates around. And the high-pressure system means light winds and not many clouds, so the hot summer sun heats up the air even more. Heat waves can be dangerous, even deadly, especially when people aren't prepared. In some US cities, the streets have started cracking and cables are literally melting. I mean, it's already bad enough not having air conditioning, but to have no power at all. And this heat is um, dangerous. Some schools have had to close and shops are running out of essentials. All the stores are sold out of ice cream right now too, which is crazy. So apparently we all have the same idea here. Then there are the fires that have burnt through thousands of square k's of national forest and destroyed towns. It's not just North America feeling the heat. Russia and parts of Europe are also experiencing record temperatures. And scientists say, sadly, that's not unexpected. It really just goes to show that climate change is happening now and we're already seeing the effects of it. While heat waves are a natural weather event, scientists say really intense ones like this should only happen once in a thousand years. Our results suggest that this kind of extreme June temperatures in the region that was affected would have been almost impossible without the effect of human influence on the climate. They say it should be a warning to governments around the planet that they need to do more to address climate change. While millions of people in North America wait for the weather to cool down, special cooling centres have been set up to keep people safe. And neighbours are looking out for each other. It is super hot here, so uh, my partner and I, we set up some shade that we have to help cool off our neighbourhood and uh, keep everybody safe. Oh, and don't worry, they haven't forgotten their four-legged friends of all kinds, even if they weren't exactly invited to the pool party. <laughs>